what's going on w welcome back fam this is chris with food for your thoughts i hope you've been enjoying your day so far all right invest some time into yourself learning more about yourself loving yourself protecting yourself right leaving no stone unturned because we all been lied to okay i've been there too so i had to start doing my own research and stop blindly be believing people and i had to just start cracking open some books man you know what i'm saying but we're back continuing this presentation series but all all seriousness i really hope you've been investing some time each and every day being intentional with everything all of us receive our call to adventure, right? And it's all about, you know, going from the known to the unknown, leaving no stone and turn the universe say, hey, it's time for you to graduate. It's time, you know, it's time to stop living on repeat, right? So you've been getting that supernatural aid. You've been, you know, receiving all this help. The universe been aligning the right people, place an event to support your growth because it's time to grow to the next level in your life, right? And you've been getting that help. And there's many people just like me uh, on your journey, just like myself, sharing their ups and downs, pretty much their experiences, and also some things that can help you level up on your journey, too. And the thing that really helped me, I'm going to keep saying it, these seven hermetic principles, right? If you incorporate these things to your life, even if you don't know what you're doing, right, it's all about your intent. The universe is going to mirror your intent, and from there things gonna line up for you but you're gonna you know refine and repeat that process until it makes sense for you not just for me okay i'm just a mailman okay <laughs> but when you look use those seven hermetic principles and really incorporate these things into your life especially that cause and effect and being intent right intentional with everything you're gonna skip some levels however you still gotta grow through your own personal transformation and atonement process so each and every day you're gonna be a better stronger a wiser person and it's always and it's basically all about building those new brain cells because your brain is a muscle right and we're going to work this thing this thing out build that neuroplasticity and we're going to level up ourselves our brain and we're going to tap into our own creative forces and energy within ourselves okay but at the end of the day it's always been about you i'm here to remind you of your greatness and let you know you got this okay but at the end of the day guys trust your own intuition your own inner voice your own energy i hope that makes sense and do your own research okay but i'm here to share my own personal takeaways with you when it comes to a lot of the stuff that's been hidden from us you know but this is all of our ancestors information and i'm here to present it you know in my own particular way so it can make sense to you or to make sense to the next person because it's only 20 percent of you guys that really need this information right now and that you and you guys gonna put it to use and the, the 80 percent you guys gonna catch on a little bit later but you you know once i plant, plant that seed once you see and hear this information you can't unsee and unhear the things that i presented to you okay and that's why everything's been intentional from day one okay but as you know you know before we get to get started we're gonna jump into it because i don't want to you know take too much of your time or my time okay because i'm i'm putting this thing together for you guys a lot of these information these books they don't have any pictures so i'm going off a of straight intuition here to put these things together so it can really resonate with you out there okay but you know earth is a school and it's time to graduate i'm on your side here so it's not you know it doesn't matter what your race is i'm on your side if you really want to level up however you know, you, you got to work in your heart chakra. So if you've been taught that, you know, that you're better than some, you know, another race of people, it's not, this is not the presentation for you. It's all about seeing that everything's interconnected. We all are interconnected and that you've been lied to about the original species on this planet, which is the carbon, carbon melanated uh, species all over this planet. Okay. And all over the multiverse. Okay. So it's not just Earth. <laughs> all right. So when you know better, you're going to do better. And it's all about a, a deep history love, love lesson if you really want to tap into knowledge of self, okay? So it's not about race here. Cause here today, guys, it's all about paying homage to the divine feminine energy, the great mother. The, uh, so all of you female out there, the you goddesses and queens, I appreciate you. I value you. You know what I'm saying? I respect you. I'm grateful for you. Because if it wasn't for you guys... It, it wasn't be there wouldn't be a me okay because just then you know to incarnate in this realm you got to go through that what the feminine principle like you see over here guys you got to go through that feminine principle if you want to get the party going all right so let me move some things around here so we can really uh see things for what they are so 
before we get started be sure to click that like subscribe button down below i greatly appreciate you guys and again everything is interconnected okay but every day somewhere on the planet you know some someone on the planet celebrates and remembers the, the goddess the great goddess because she has a presence presence in everything that you see that you can't see she's there okay so to celebrate the goddess on any day and time is really to uplift women all over the planet and yourself remember that okay so it's all about taking it back right and paying homage to the divine feminine principle because she's making her presence feel all over the planet okay i'm just a messenger okay so you know material items are gonna come and go along your path but knowledge yourself is gonna be way longer lasting okay especially them seven metal principles is gonna take you far in time right now it's time to balance your polarity there's a good you know a, a good side and not so good side of everything we've been discussing that's just one of the principles right that cause and effect kind of deal and also if you want to tap into more you know you know learning about basic genetics biochem or by you know biology chemistry and i you know i dive a little bit deep into biochemistry the chemistry of life life's chemistry right but brother um Kalai Ma'at Amin Ra He deals with you know gives sun weather Update also deal with genetics and also Deals with you know the activity In the sky you know so for you guys Seeing some you know different you know Phenomena this guy been catching A lot of stuff for you on YouTube But Kalai Ma'at Amin Ra It's a message in everything so it's not About agreeing with everything these Individuals are saying but remember The universe put a message in everything And through people that you know that you normally wouldn't you know wouldn't resonate with okay so before we go ahead and get started and, and give you my my key points and my takeaways and get you out of here let's go ahead and lead on in okay so our purpose and mission require learn a whole bunch of life lesson to gain that experience and knowledge for our soul grow so if you've been doing the same thing over and over again it's okay you can rewrite your story any given time but you got to start now you need a new schedule new routine new information and then most importantly you might need a mentor okay you don't necess necessarily need to work with somebody else but you need this some you need something to gauge you know what i'm saying that's going in that same vein in that same direction so you you know to kind of check your progress i hope that makes sense okay even i did that you know through the mil my military career I, I had to have some kind of engaging point to make sure i was you know in alignment with where i wanted to be because i had some goals and i had you know some some check some checkpoints for for myself okay throughout the process all right so let's go ahead and lead in guys it is a well-known physiological fact that what the blood is the basic you know material of which the human body is continually built so as is the what the blood so is the body as is the body so is the brain as is the brain so is the quality of thought and now scientists they are coming clean they have discovered they are dormant underdeveloped brain cells Kalai Amin Ra he gonna tell you that you know we we have our people we are you know having issues with dormant underdeveloped brain cells especially if you still believe in the Santa Claus the Easter Bunny and you're looking for somebody to save you other than yourself okay because you know you're here to co-create not to you know to be saved okay that's why you're here on this plane at this time you are you know are the the, the ones that to be the game changer so to speak okay so it's time to wakey wakey okay guys all right but a lot of people out here they're they're really dealing with some underdeveloped brain that's why it's all about you know here it's all about learning new information building that neuroplasticity a new brain cells because we know the brain is a muscle so we're going to work this thing out even if it's just information that we we went over you know early in our childhood you know or you know teenage years or even in college it's all about about, you know looking at things from a, a a new a new perspective and a fresh just having that fresh look okay kind of like a remix so i'm taking all our ancestor information remixing in a way where is it pre a presentable okay and you can use your own intuition and kind of gauge things out okay so as I, I go ahead and proceed here but we do have those undeveloped brains you know and you know that leads up in the cere uh, cerebrum here which is the upper brain the seat of the soul these are deals with the moral factories and this is also the key when touched with that vital force you know set free through the process of physical regeneration by saving that seed that manifests in your solar plexus okay and and, and once you you know let that thing rise up by baptism and ointment 
you know, that Christ in the spinal cord, because that's all about that kundalini energy, okay, guys? And a lot of guys been, you know, a lot of, you know, males out there have been doing that semen retention. But it's, remember, it's all about your intent. You know, you are, you're going to have a lot of magnetism, okay? <laughs> all right, but you're going to lift that crucified substance that is normally wasted by that prodigal son and righteous, you know, and righteous living or righteous living up to the most high brain and tap into that third, you know, that pineal gland. So you can, you know, see things for what it is with that third eye. But, you know, what am I saying? Everything's interconnected. There is no, no separation, okay? You know, they teach us that there is no separation. You got you know prokaryotic cell eukaryotic cell but at the end of the day you got that karyotic right and the curio and with you know with anything mama universe going to going to put the truth in everything okay so when you look think you know look at things you know with the proper discernment the truth going to present itself in everything okay and you'll see like you know who's who who's the you know who's the original species who who came in you know through you know evolution of course right and we're going to talk a little bit about that but it's all about you doing your own research but the same way mama universe gave birth you know to you know the galaxies the cosmo the multiverse in the same way you know the goddesses here you guys you know give birth to your own you know creation to this world okay and let's talk about that a little bit you know within each and every one of us we got that masculine divine masculine feminine energy but at the end of the day it's all about that what one force okay so if you anytime you feel like you out of balance it's all about flipping that polarity so you can balance yourself out okay so you can stay in the ebb and flow in your life okay so when it comes to you know with the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic you know guys it's all about loving yourself all right and like i say i appreciate all the divine feminine energy out there especially if you're living in your higher nature and you know like hey you know i know we're different however you know we are here you know are the mothers of humanity so to speak we are here to be a, a good example nobody's better than the other but they they you know pretty much rob the original you know caretakers of the universe which is the carbon-based beings okay the melanated beings of their true throne all right but it's you know mother nature is rewriting everything mother universe is flipping the script okay so and that's what you're seeing manifesting out right now so i'm only the messenger okay so as we proceed you guys have a wonderful gift of giving you know giving life you know to another being and even though they are manifesting themselves through you however it is a wonderful experience i get to see you know my children you know grow and and, and go through these you know transformation and an atonement process these many many experiences right but they are very special and unique and each of you guys are unique okay and i just want to say that and just love yourself more so but as we we talk you know dive a little bit deeper here let's talk about that wound you know, the same way, you know, Mother Universe give birth to, you know, all the galaxy, the multiverse and that, you know, and which is the womb of Maru, which is the, the, the Garden of Eden, Eden here, which is, you know, that it's all about manifesting the original thought that which gave birth to the, you know, the actual all the galaxies. So out of the chaos became, you know, came order. All right. With that being said. So when it comes to the, you know, the female and the reproductive here, you know, we got. We got the uterine wall, the placenta, you know, as outlined here, we got the vila, the vila, all right? There's like little mini trees that are, you know, feet, you know, giving those vital nutrients, right, to the baby that's leading into the, what, the intravillous uh, space, right? And then also, you got the umbilical cord that is actually feeding the, the feeding you and feeding the, <laughs> feeding the baby within the womb, okay? Lean on. We have the amniotic sac. The amniotic fluid within the sac here we got the uh trurion and also the amnion which is the inner la layer of the sac then the trurion is that outer layer as you can see here guys all right moving on in here everything is interconnected as you can see the mo the womb maru, <laughs> maru again and this is you at a different level you got the aunt here then you also have the fish you know uh, you know the the the, the christian fish or you just want to have just have that that fish that water symbol okay but at the end of the day we broke all the symbolism down this is all about you balancing out what your divine masculine and feminine principle within yourself okay which e equals you your christ consciousness it's not a, a person per se it's you okay so, but when you reach your higher nature you be you become you you balance your polarity and you tap into your christ consciousness and you become godlike right so that's when you you know you you have these 
these jokes what what came first what the chicken or the egg right and so you know the way the universe works you're not just gonna manifest as adults fam you know there's a, a growth you know a personal transformation and atonement process through with everything okay so you know you didn't come out you know as adults you know it wasn't a, a pretty much like a a factory you know cutter process the way things manifested okay you know there's a you know transformation and atonement process just like with this baby here you know and it went through its own little process here just like with mother universe so let's let's go ahead and lean on in and i'm gonna get you guys out of here so like just again with the you know the same way the universe gave birth to the you know the multiverse all the galaxies the planets you know what i'm saying and just like with the 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 female here we have a you know one of our ancient delivery positions and you know d delivery stations okay and as above so below you know as within so without right so you have a happy you know mama yama day 12 july right you know this is mama yama day okay so each and every day we got to pay homage to these you know this feminine energy and you know because it's it's her presence is in any you know and pretty much in everything okay and which lead you know we just getting a top-down view leading into every aspect of yourself and also just this process of life in general okay so as above so so below so we just tying everything together so you can really see with your spiritual eye how everything really looks okay but at the end of the day please do your own research so to really follow along with everything that um that we've been covering so far again please invest into the emerald tablets of thoth the atlantean by doriel books i repeat the emerald tablets of thoth by the atlantean by doriel books okay it'll take you far to help put you on the frequency when it comes to higher thoughts and, and the who what when where how and why kind of kind of deal and when you love wisdom you're gonna you have no choice but to evolve okay fam and let me just slow down but i want to make sure I, I give you guys the you know the information here next we got the occult anatomy of man manly p hall again the occult anatomy of man by manly p hall and and we've been basically using this book and works by george carey these this is three books in one you got the chemistry of life the tree of life and the wonders of the human body by george carey works so these two books plus quite a few other books but these two books in particular this is what been been my my driving force you know to pretty much giving my point across with each presentation i hope that makes sense so far but it's all about you know you doing your own you know research so you can see things from your own point of view but i just wanted to share my own personal takeaway with you so as we get you know get ready to close things out when, with my own personal key takeaways and then you know and and my key facts let's go ahead you know what does this mean overall there are cycles and seasons of life man you know you cycles and seasons to the universe and cycles and seasons to you you know so everything you know works in a cycles of seven and then you got these three you know phases in your life you got you know you know these uh 28 year you know phases which is from zero to 28 then from, you know from 28 to 56 then from 58 to 84 you know what i'm saying and so these are pretty much like these different phases which is you know your first phase would be like the month you were born that number what that number you know represents when you do the numerology then the second phase you know for me which is the day you were born you know you reduce it down if it's a master number leave it be if it's not reduce it down but i would still reduce it down just to get the totality of the vibration right but you get what i'm saying then you take the year you were born same thing you know if it's a master number leave it be but reduce it down but you want to get the toll you want to get the full vibration of this thing leaving no stone unturned but you got different points in your life i'm gonna go over them briefly here so again you got we work in seven year cycle each every seven years we should be you know pretty much refining repeating figure out what works where it doesn't work in our life but we haven't been taught this information okay but you know but from zero to seven but actually zero to 14 these are the high programming years that's why it's very important for these institutions to get your children so they can put their information to their brain okay but you got to be you know a wise one out here and you got to supplement your education especially if you if they are in school 
but preferably homeschooling if you can okay but you want to take you know you want to be responsible you know for putting the, the things that you want your child to have in their in their mind versus what the the institutions are doing and or the tv so be mindful of, of every inlet into the, the mind okay i hope that makes sense so again we work in seven year cycles right and then you know you know, once you hit around about 14, you're going to hit that second physical birth. And then once right, right around about 21, you're going to hit that spiritual consciousness. You're going to tap in that, hey, I'm ready for life. I'm ready, you know, for the next step on my, my own hero's journey, right? And, of course, you know, once you hit roughly right around about, uh, let's say, 42, you're going to hit that second emer emotional birth, okay? And also, most people, they'll tap into, like, their second, second childhood. You know what I'm saying? And then... Right around about 49 to 56, that's when you tap into the golden years of thought. You're going to be like, man, what, what have I done to my life? You know what I'm saying? Done with my life. You know, how can I rewrite my story? But again, with that second and third childhood popping up, that's why you'll see a lot of a lot of people around, right around between 49 and 56, they go through what you call like a midlife crisis, so to speak. But it's okay. But they still need to get knowledge of self instead of you using their money on toys, okay, to live out of fantasy. And also, right around about this time frame here, you know, you know, 56, you hit that vital birth period. And also, you know, if you haven't already, you know, around about this time frame, you're looking at like, you know, what is, you know, you really love life. And you like, you really want to tap into like, hey, who is God and how can I get a better connection? Okay. And if, you know, if God lives through me, how can I be a better, a, a better service to the people that come into my reality? OK, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, you should be, you know, figuring out a way where you can. How can I uplift, you know, the overall energy, frequency and vibration of the planet this time and play your part? All right. That's all. That's it. So these are my takeaways. You know, at the end of the day, guys, and we got prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. At the end of the day, we all been lied to. You know, we, we, we are a human being having this spirit, you know, spiritual being had this human experience, but we are different species. OK, so you have the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cell. And I'm not going into great detail, but you do have, you know, you know, the prokaryotic cell. They have a special connection with the universe. As you can see, you know, there's a divine connection. OK, nothing against the eukaryotic cell. They have a connection, too, but they have to work on themselves more to tap into that connection. Okay, there's no separation again. The universe high puts the truth. There's nothing hidden. The truth is in everything, but you just have to have the sermon and, and the patience to research and learn. Okay, <laughs> all right, guys. But here are my my own personal takeaways. Let me pull this back up. I'm going a little fast here. So here are my own personal takeaways. One, you know, there have been you know throughout history we've been hearing all these different stories of many people that that incarnated you know like lord vishnu and many others who incarnated many times into this realm you know they're pretty much based on ancient cosmogony right and this process of you know pretty much dealing with the cycles of the universe and embryology okay so the formation of the co cosmos and man is pretty much a similar process as i clearly illustrated over here you know everything is interconnected the same way the original you know the great mother the divine gave birth to original thought which gave birth to all the you know the chaos and then the order came you know everything that you see here right and, and the same process happened in man or womb man okay so to speak okay next Two, the universe was created, you know, was created out of water, and then it floated into a great sea, the amniotic fluid, as you can see here. And again, everything is interconnected here. You know what I'm saying? And it, you know, and it went into it flowed into a new land. You got these four, and then you know, let me start over here. Now down came that ladder, as you can see here. You know, the rainbow bridge, the umbilical cord, like you can see over here too. Everything is interconnected. You know, and which, you know, came down to God's, right? As above, so below. And then, which you have the four rivers, right? Everything's in connect. You got the four rivers down there, right? And then, which flowed into this new land, which is included in the, the book of Genesis here. But at the end of the day, your body is a vessel, 
okay and then you also have these blood vessels right that actually help feed you as you you know prep yourself for your debut here on the earth plane i hope that makes sense so far three the adam and steve you know you know story are based on embryology when you you know when you dive a little bit deeper under the scene you know underneath the surface you know let's just tap tap into you know embryology here and the womb is the original garden of eden okay you know as above so below like we just clearly you know talked about it okay so it is the o when it comes to divine symbolism and we've been talking about this o for quite some time right and the hero's journey is all about that o o o right and so and you'll see this symbolism everywhere and then in in the middle of that o you're gonna have that dot that black dot which represent that what that primitive germ the initial spark right that manifests out of everything you know what i'm saying so and then when you deal with the egg of brahma and all these other different mythos you know this basically all deals with what cosmic imp the cosmic embryo and the study of creation you know the who what when where how and why and you know what's my purpose and what what can i do to get in a great alignment so i can you know play my part so to speak right so four you know throughout you know creation itself okay because there's no beginning to end to the universe right but you know there are various species of nature you know we went through a period with the hyperboreans the lumerians the atlantean then you had the Aryans. but it's all about doing your research and learning basic genetics biology and chemistry and also biochemistry and then it's all about leaving please and it's all about leaving no stone unturned in your life and then you'll realize like hey somebody been holding some information back you know to basically you know present a business opportunity on people all right but all life on this planet came from what the water just like the embryo and just you know and just one quick plug you know when the baby when every you know child is within this womb here they don't develop their you know sex organs until the third month you know so they you know all you know children or babies or embryos so to speak they are you know pretty much balanced out they are pre-programmed conditioned with everything they need to do but a couple things goes on when you know once you hit the stage you know a lot of you know a lot of things you know at birth at the birthing station so to speak all right but with that being said guys number five you know the re recapitulation of the human embryo you know throughout the lower kingdom you know of nature is proof of evolution like i mentioned to you guys before so let's tie some of these numbers together you know throughout during your time frame in, inside that womb, you're going to be in there for nine months. But what we talked about this before, you fall short just of three, you know, and that three months, you know, will give you your 12 months out of the year. So, you you know, you short, you know, three months. And that's kind of like, you know, that that uh, that initial sin, so to speak. And that sin in Hebrew, that Hebrew letter is the 21st. And you that means you, you've fallen short by one. Right. And also sin means, you know, pretty much the mess, the mark, you know, pretty much in the era. Right. And also, you know, it's all about building that bridge, you know, these mineral salts that are missing within the human avatar. And we spoke about that before with the Zodiac Health. There are 12 mineral salts within the human avatar that can help aid in your own, your own individual homeostasis and balance, okay? So as we get ready to close things out, guys, you know, six, you know, from zero to seven years, again, guys, these are very critical here. Be mindful of your, you know, what goes inside your children's mind, you know, and your mind each and every day because input equals output remember that but zero to seven this is your mindset your physical body you know your children are a sponge you know so this physical body is born through the crystallization process man begins to die you know after you know as soon as you you born you you present yourself to the stage you're pretty much prepping yourself for death okay so it is what it is okay but again this is you just here going through your own personal metamorphosis but at the same time frame, you you got to, you know, learn some lessons too. Earth is a school. All right. Dream world school. All right. Next. So right around about the seven year, the vital body is activated with growth, you know, 12 to 14 years. You hit that temperate zone, which includes your liver and your emotional body. Seven. Then, you know, a quick plug when it comes to that number 12, 12, again, you got 12 disciples, 12, you know, zodiac signs, you know, in the zodiac, right? You know, twelve equals completion, but the the to encompass the the 
the entire zodiac is the finished product, which is 13. Okay, so remember that they, you know, told us that 13 is an unlucky number, but it's actually a very powerful number because it means you ready to present something, right? But you have 12 apertures in the human body, seven visible, and five concealed openings. And when it comes to the seven visible, you got what that. You got the six openings, which includes what? Your ears, two ears, two eyes, two nostrils. And these are the openings to the brain, okay? So be mindful of these things that are leading to your brain each and every day. And then, you, of course, you have that one leading out. And it goes in, too, right, which is your mouth. So what am I saying here? You need to listen twice, look twice, and smell twice before you do anything with your mouth, <laughs> okay? All right, but at the end of the day, you always need to listen twice before you speak once, okay? So as we close things you know, out, guys, it's all about you and the great faith of Mama Universe, which, and the Mama, you know, and that divine spark that's lived through each and every one of us if we choose to live in our higher nature, okay? But it's all about that great face. What does that great face include? Your eyes, which equals what? The father, that consciousness. The sun equals the nostrils, okay? Because you, it's all about, you know, really tapping in. That's the edge of your temple right there. The, you know, that nostril leading into your temple, okay? And then last, we have the mouth, the ma. The, which is that Holy Spirit, the mother energy, the divine feminine energy, which is that spoken word, which is coming out of people right about now. You know what I'm saying? We talked about in the last presentation, that small theory body that's being, you know, presenting itself in near the larynx, okay? But guys, this has been my own personal takeaway when it's comes to the anatomy of the human avatar, especially when it comes to occult embryology. This is just the basis, okay? This is not a thorough or comprehensive you know presentation but just to give you some working knowledge on some things that you can use to get you going along your path okay but most importantly invest in those books i promise you it's going to take you far but as we close things out guys be sure to click that like subscribe button down below i greatly appreciate each and every one of you and every day someone on the planet celebrates and remember the goddess she has a present in every living thing and to celebrate the goddess on any day and any time is to uplift women and yourself fam so don't forget where you came from and where you came out of okay all right so just like bobby him and say you know we we so you know we come out of here as soon as we hit the stage and most men they spend most of their life trying to get back in it okay so what am i saying here you know you know pay homage to that divine feminine energy and also don't forget to balance your polarity within yourself okay so if you male you know balance that feminine energy creative space within you if you're a female balance that masculine you know force within you you know but at the end of the day if you're out of balance you need to flip the polarity so you can stay in harmony with yourself okay because you are your own universe okay so with that being said fam be sure to click that like subscribe button down below i greatly appreciate each and every one of you as always, Earth is a school. Our purpose and mission require learning a whole bunch of life lessons to gain that experience and knowledge for our soul to grow. It's never too late to rewrite your story, but you got to do it now. As you grow, you're going to learn a lot of information. After you research this information, please share your knowledge and wisdom with people. Don't leave people stuck on level 2 when you're on level 55 manifesting your butt off. You know, the universe going to, you know gonna look look back at you okay it's all about karma you got higher correspondence to a lot of this stuff okay so you're not gonna get away with stuff okay so it's all about trusting your own intuition your own inner voice and your own energy it's not about believing what chris is saying but why would i share this information especially if i know you know the universal laws and principles because you remember that cause and effect i'm using it to my advantage okay it's all about my intent because i'm sharing my sharing is pure okay and that's what it's all about everything matters so let me get ready to close things out you know it's all about what am i saying guys you gotta follow your own biorhythm and flow in life but be sure to pay yourself first they are playing with the money okay but don't be a fool out here continue to learn about money invest in yourself invest in your mindset okay and i promise it's gonna take you far but this is chris with food for your thoughts you know we'll be back concluding our presentation series until next time stay grateful and focused fam peace